Hey, could you stand still? I can't see the movie. And it's my very favorite one, too. The giant baboon who ate ragoon. <laughs> At noon. <laughs> in June. <laughs> with a spoon. And will you shut up soon? <laughs> What's eating you, Fred? I don't know, Bubba. I just haven't, I'm just nervous. I haven't even slept since, since, since I heard the news. What news? You know, uh, Janet's mother, the big shot school teacher up there in Oakland, and she's coming all the way down here just to read a paper. But don't they have no papers up in Oakland? <laughs> Bubba, it's a paper that she wrote. You see, she's reading it at a big teacher's convention here in town, out loud in front of everybody. Fred, you must feel very dumb. What are your grandchildren going to think? They got a grandmother who writes papers and a grandfather who collects them. Before I talked to you, Bubba, I felt awful. Now I feel terrible. How'd you like to feel this? Well, I'm sorry. You're right, Bubba, but what you gonna think of me? I ain't nothing but a junk man. Fred, you remind me of the immortal Phil Green. Who's he? He used to be just like you. A nothing, a nobody, a useless empty shell of a man. Until he became world famous by pushing a waterbed from Los Angeles to Detroit. <laughs> a feat that got him a place on the, on the official book of world records. What's that got to do with me? Don't you see, Fred, if you could get your name in the official book of world records, it would be just as important as reading a paper at some teacher's conference. You think so? Sure. Maybe Janice's mother might even write a paper about you, Fred. I think you got something there. Yeah. No. <laughs> there. How's that feel, Fred? Oh, fine, Bubba. It's easy. Good. Just stay that way until Thursday, and you'll be immortal. <laughs> if I stay this way on Thursday, I'd be a star. <laughs> so, so far, every record you come up with is impossible. Try harder. Look in there. We haven't even scratched the surface, Fred. Here's a good one, Fred. Mm -hmm. Make two fists. Now stick them in your armpits. <laughs> That's it. Now flap your arms and squat. Uh, now, how long do I have to do this? Just till the eggs are hatched. <laughs> <laughs> How would you like to hold the record for the world's fattest lip? Hold it, Fred. I think I got it. You like apple pie, don't you? Sure, all Americans love apple pie. Yeah, your problem is solved. It is? Yeah. Now, who told you you could use my phone? I'm sorry. Can I use your phone, Fred? Sure, you don't have to ask. <laughs> Hello, is this Paul's Pie Palace? I like to order 243 apple pies. Put my phone down. I can eat no 243 apple pies. You only have to eat 240. Three of them are for me. Oh, Bubba, we can do better than this. I'm a nervous wreck. I haven't slept a week, on, and, and, and I probably won't sleep a week until after Janet's mother leaves here. Oh. Wait a minute. That's it. Awake. 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 Yeah, here it is. You know, if you stay awake until she leaves, you'll break the world record currently held by Choo Choo Rabinowitz. How much longer do I have to stay up? Oh, about seven days, 14 hours, and 20 minutes. I don't think I can make it, Bubba. I'm not going to stay up that long. It'll be easy, Fred. I'll supervise the whole operation. You will? I can see it now. I'm going to be immortal. Look out, Choo Choo Rabinowitz. I'm going to break that record. <laughs> what is all this talk about a record? Oh, son, you see, I, I don't break the record. The world's record for staying up longer than anybody else. Sure you are. Oh, you just don't believe it, because you don't think I can be nothing but just a junk man. Pop, you don't have to prove anything to me. Think of how proud you're going to be of me, son, with my name right next to Hank Aaron, Jesse Owen, and Melvin Watson. Who's Melvin Watson? Oh, well, he went to Guido's Italian Grotto and ate continuously for 314 hours. <laughs> May he rest in pizza. 